Let's create the hand stretch effect. The first thing you want to do when you record, make sure you record one far shot and one close up shot showing your object. And you just want to link them together so right when you're showing your object on the far shot, your close up shot comes in. Now click on your top layer, come over to the rotoscope button, double click on your video, and we are just going to rotoscope the hand and our subject. We are just going to try to get it as perfect as we can. Once the rotoscope is done, click the freeze button. This will just take a minute. After that's done, come back up to the composition and you can see we have our cutout, but we want to make it look more smooth. So we're going to come over here and turn up the feather. I'm going to turn it up to about 60. After we change the feather, we're going to come to the shift edge and turn it down to get rid of that white border. Now that looks pretty good. Before we start creating the effect, we're going to come over to the layers and make sure the motion blur is turned on and also make sure it's turned on on the rotoscope and now we can start creating the effect. Come over to the start of your second clip and we just want to line this up with the first clip so we're going to come down to the transform and we're going to make a keyframe for scale and position. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to change the rotation so it matches with the video. I'm going to turn down the scale to get it to match that far video. Something like that looks pretty good. Now we're going to come forward a few frames, we're going to move the position again, and we're going to bring the scale up. I like to put it right in the middle, I think it looks good there. I still have a little white around these edges, so I'm going to turn the shift edge down a little bit more. I like something like that. I'm just going to match the position a little bit more. Now when we play it back, we have that hand stretch effect. But we want to sell it a little more, so we're going to come to this bottom layer. And we're going to search for Gaussian Blur, drag it on the bottom layer. We're going to come a few frames before the top layer starts. And we're going to come up here, keyframe the blurriness at zero. And come forward a few frames to when it starts, right about here. And we're just going to crank this up. Something around 45 looks good. Another thing we want to do to sell the effect is come back to the top layer, click and drag over all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, and easy ease. That's just gonna make the animation smoother. And now when we play this back, we have our finished hand stretch effect. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials soon. Make sure to check out my editing presets in the description below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.